What's up guys, welcome back, TCG Metagame Breakdown for early September, late of August 2019. Let's take a look right with the new Gold Sark, the promo tins finally released here in the TCG. And um, as we all assumed, they will definitely impact our current TCG format, so let's take a look how much of an impact are these... Um, you know these new tin promos how much of an impact are they uh, they are making right and mainly nibiru and the the dark lord right the the, the the yeah the spell card the skill dream uh, sadly no metagame breakdown no pie chart that's what i wanted to say again none of the tournaments uh you know that that released like lists from past weekends uh, none of them like revealed like a pot the pie chart so we can't reveal that we can't show that here in this particular video but a lot of lists were revealed so let's take a look right mainly interested to see you know the list that uh, incorporated um you know the new uh tin promos right so the first tournament here we have two uh, kind of big tournaments to showcase here the new um you know the new tin promos and how much of an impact they, ma they made and it was quite quite big as you will be seeing so first regionals here new zealand if i'm not mistaken um you know the second place we have sky strikers sky strikers still doing okay i mean if it's like you know if you if you want to play that, that, that that's not really hindered by the new tin promos not hindered by nibiru the multiple special summons more than five right or the skill drain the dark ruler no more definitely go with sky strikers it's still a very solid pick right so it's one of those decks that is still very strong and might just be quote unquote the best deck post um yeah post the tin promos first place list here probably should have shown this before this but anyway first place was on um, at least this particular tournament was won by salads so selmering great still going strong as we have seen from past weekend in ycs portland and this particular list first place did main like the double nibiru here in the you know, the main like of course right and only psychic of course the third copy but other than that no tin promos as expected right both nibiru and the spell seem the better ones while the macro cosmos um, you know dimensional shifter i believe the name is somewhat dependent heavily dependent on the format and the top decks but um, that was the big question should people be main necking nibiru and or the the dark ruler no more and i believe that nibiru should be a main neck copy especially during these these early weeks but um yeah as in the spell might be like a side tech pick but this particular build first place salads did main neck two copies right as for the rest no dangers in the main neck again that was a top list from portland last week and um yeah quite interesting this one with uh, the small crusade yeah level three right yeah, the, uh, the small... Yeah, that, that's something I haven't mentioned yet is here. The Pankratops, right? That's, that's something cool. The searchable Pankratops with uh, the Foolish Burial of Goods. Another top four list here being Zombies. That's cute. But um, yeah, the Zombie list is not running any of the Tim promos. Even though, in theory, like a, like a lower tier one deck like tier two or th uh, tier three might be you know like more um infested or definitely want to run those tin promos to equalize um their chances of winning against top tier but zombies okay quite cool still even top four Denny's, this one is super interesting. Also, of course, with the Foolish Burial of Goods. Uh, also, they had the, the Metal Fall Fusion getting the extra draw. The Gizmek, I mean, the, the card is still ridiculous. They ban Fairy Tail, but give us the, you know, the new Fairy Tail, the Gizmek, I believe the name. It's a small Tenny engine. The searchable, you know, uh, potential searchable uh, Pankratops here. He did, this particular player did up to main like the Dark Ruler no more. And Mystic Mine as well. I'm not a huge fan of Mystic Mine, but that's how it is. No Nibiru. If not mistaken but tenyi tenyi well tenyi and orcus still going very strong mainly orcus right going post these new tin promos we see abcs as well so top eight abcs from the same tournament here um presumably of course going second with the evilly matched in the main egg and also mind control it mind control is one of those cards that's becoming more and more uh, or at least and i'm putting more and more on my ban list radar as in not banned but you know back to one since I, I think mind control eventually was was limited to one like years ago but um you know triple mind control and link format mirror matches still very strong card so it's definitely one of those cards that's back on my radar so abc's that's cool even though this particular list is not really running any of the new tin promos 
Anyway, so next up we have Magical Muskets, also managing the triple mind control and thanks to the new Magical Musket Max, their Link Monster, the deck have definitely has potential in this format, in a TCG format, still weak to the normal summon right, or you know, when, when the normal summon is taken away, but still, uh, Magical Muskets have it on the list ready, but it's one of those decks that, well, especially with the new Tim promos, and I'm looking at the Dark Ruler no more, because you know, it lets you trigger the Magical Muskets while Nibiru do doesn't, so, no, it, well, this particular player is main making the evenly match the toe. Then we have Rockets, Dragon Link, quote unquote, Dragon Link. Yeah, I think that kind of tanked Guard Dragon's Dragon Link, like at uh, at least from uh, YCS Portland last week. We saw that, that Dragon Link wasn't that popular, and especially with the new Tim promos, people moving away from the combo decks to combo oriented decks. But from the list we've seen here, people are okay, they're moving away. That's something we feel from Crusadia, from Dragon Link, the combo, heavily combo oriented decks, but um, not, not as much as I, I thought. But again, still very early. So Rockets, um, that's fine. Top 8. And then the last top 8 built is Thunder. Pure Thunder Dragon is one of those listed. I believe uh, Thunder's also. Pure Thunder that is also like when undefeated in a, in, in a German tournament. German uh, regionals like 8-0, 9-0. Pure Thunder's as well. So if, it, if there is a deck that has like an insane good, uh, you know, at well not really advantage uh, in this new format posted in promos, it's Thunder's, right? Even though it can be kind of weak against Dark Ruler no more, you can still recover with, let's say, your Fusion, right? So this particular list is, uh, you know, opting to side deck the Nibiru. Next tournament, we have uh, an Omaha uh, Regionals, right? Very quickly, um, the deck list the live profiles are up uh, are up on Asian Persuasion's channel. We'll leave the link in the video description. A couple of things caught my attention. First place list is not revealed up until, well, you know, like the, the moment here in the video. But second place list is Salads. Again, Salomon Greats side-taking the, tri side the triple Nibiru. But other than that, the, yeah, the main deck, a Galaxy Cyclone and uh, no dangers. Again, very similar, or at least different. Indeed different compared to the Portland list from last week. Third place, we see heavy combo oriented deck, but this one is something that I definitely recommend running in a new format. That's Ibli. Ibli, just give your opponent an Ibli right with the Orcus engine, or yeah, of course with Orcus, but something like give your opponent the Ibli in case if you're playing Orcus, this is what I wanted to say. And of course, Ibli prevents your opponent from summoning the Nibiru. So that's interesting. And this particular player also opted to side deck the exchange. You know, exchange, look at both players' hands and they both, you know, take a card and put it in their own hands. So get rid of your opponent's Nibiru, for example. So that's quite interesting. Very interesting tech. We might see this one popping up again, since it was quite um, decently side decked. Was it last year? I believe it was last year. Next up, we have Cosmos. Johnny, again, top 40 with Cosmos. Very roguish, but the guy is a beast with a Cosmo deck. Main decking the triple Nibiru. Again, one of those decks that you can definitely go second and slap in those three copies of Nibiru. Getting the extra beat stick or prevent your opponent from setting up. True Dracos is also one of the also one of those decks that might, you know, gain a lot of popularity, especially with the new tin promos. But um, yeah, okay, we have seen multiple uh, deck lists popping up, but again, Again, it's still true, Dracos. They have the triple solemn judgment at their disposal, and this particular list opted to side deck the double dark rule. This one was right. Yeah, this one was uh, well, was cool, I guess. We see trains in the top eight with um, it, it, it. Yeah, just the, the you know the. The Time Lords, it's, it's, it's like, it, it baffles me still. But it's a very interesting choice, especially leaning towards like the rank 10, uh, the rank 10 exceeds with Kaijus as well. I might try this one out in, uh, yeah, some testings within the next couple of days. And last from this tournament, we again see, we again see Magical Muskets uh, side-taking side -taking the triple Nibiru. But uh, other than that, that's very straightforward, especially with triple instant fusion here in the main deck as well. Some extra lists, we see all the guys here at the, a German uh, tournament. Also around those decks next to Subterrors and True Dracos. I expect it to be a lot more represented. It might be, but again, very early format. Again, not weak to the head, you know, to the new tin promos, but all the guys definitely gain advantage out of the new tin promos. Seventh uh, place, yeah, top eight list, another top eight list. Main deck, or, you know, decided to main deck the Nibiru's as well. 
Uh, this one is very interesting. We see two Cyber Dragon lists here that eventually were revealed as well or released also. Cyber Orchest. That's very interesting, but I'm not really sure if it was uh, during the Tin Promo era, right, with the matches. This particular list is not running them. And the other list here is Psytacking the Nibirus. But again, a deck that, that's definitely at least that has potential, like the Cyber Dragons as well, you know, the Cyber Dragon Chimatic Mega Fleet uh, to get rid of your opponent's monsters. So that, that's again a very interesting pick here. The Cyber Orchest. Next up, another Assaultman Great List, but again, nothing too spectacular. Yeah, very straightforward. Uh, Salads. And last but not least, a cool list, and that's Pelios. Pelio Frogs is also one of those lists that are archetypes that, you know, like, like a little bit under the radar, but it's still very strong. Again, very strong against the new 10 promos like Nibiru. And uh, Oregon is also side decking the triple, or yeah, the three copies of Nibiru here. So, again, also one of those decks that go, can go first, can go second here, especially with the Nibirus, but those amount of traps, it goes and match, crack down, well, there is definitely the option you want to go first, so something like Pelios, definitely interesting to see this deck rising again. So for the format, it's still, of course, very, very early, the new Tim promos definitely have an impact on people's choices for decks, but, you know, there still needs to be, like, a big tournament to, add, like, you know, set up uh, our current and upcoming TCG metagame. So again, like always, feel free if you, uh, you know, you, you like the video, if like extra deck lists, uh, other sources, again, will be in the video description. Okay, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a comment or a like if you enjoyed the video. Leave them sunny art. Peace.